Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on how and where to listen to bow tones. Bow tones tell us a lot about a person's GI motility. You know, if they're hyperactive, do they have diarrhea? Are they digesting food? Do they just eat? Or are they hypoactive or absent and we're having slow gastric motility that's potentially could be something like an ileus or just constipation or things like that. So I'm going to show you where to auscultate bowel tones on my husband, Jesse, and he's going to be my test demonstration person. So I know we're kind of at an awkward angle here, but there's four regions that you want to listen to uh, bowel tones, and that's going to be your upper quadrants and your lower quadrants bilaterally. So I always start with the patient's right upper quadrant. It doesn't really matter where you start, but you're gonna to wanna to compare bilaterally. And I always listen until I hear a couple bowel tones, and then I go to the next area, then I go to their lower quadrant, and to the next quadrant, and make sure I hear, ba hear active bowel sounds. Now, if they're coming quite frequently, then they're more likely hyperactive. If you're only hearing maybe one every you know, it could be a few minutes or one every 30 seconds. That's most likely hypoactive. A normal person, you should be able to put your stethoscope on and hear a bowel sound within like the first 10 or 15 seconds, if not multiple. You can't technically say that a person has absent bowel tone. I keep saying towns. That a person has absent bowel tones until you've listened to each quadrant for at least five minutes. But that is a 20 minutes to listen to someone's quadrants and say that you didn't hear a bowel tone. So really, I have never said that someone has absent bowel tones. I also think that's really kind of hard to say. So usually if I don't hear a lot of bowel tones or they're coming one every you know 30 seconds or a minute, then I would say that is hypoactive. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and make sure you check out also my other auscultation videos. I did heart sounds and lung sounds, so check those out as well. And did I already say give this video a thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Okay. And subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.